Two weeks later. Turn up. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. Yeah, I'm looking at the baited. Rather not bicker about taste. Don't like to. It's neither interesting nor productive. This particular Witcher has an inborn intolerance for formal occasions. Yet he's to attend just such an event shortly. I expect that's the source of his prickliness. So try not to take things personally, Master Taylor. Rather pity him. For in truth, stage fright overwhelms him. He trembles at the thought that he has no notion how to behave in the presence of Her Grace's Majesty. Hmm. As well he should. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition. His arm stuck like that? Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality, and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering. Which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience. Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victims' names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. See, I'm thinking that the... the last name was her sister. A lack of compassion. And her sister, I imagine when they were little, like she said, she was, did have a tendency to be me to give as good as she got. Regis, Boot Black didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. Right, this kid's too good for his own good. <laughs> 
Not bad as idea, Kyogos. We may as well talk to him. Could be worth checking with the boot black again. Meet you by a stand. Fine. I shall await you there. Shoot the breeze with the charming lad to pass the time. The boot black? In the lower city? Intent to soil my masterpiece in the city's gutters? Promise to be careful. Well, we could change. Keeps taking me back to the damn quest items. Sir Geralt of Rivia, three cheers for the tourney's victory. Ready? You're putting the tourney in precedence over the saving of the scene, entire city. I'm pretty sure we're going down south to the slums to talk to the bullet mag. Yeah. Ew, stinky. Fuck you, bitch. Long live Duchess Anna Henrietta. Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. Go out, grab the roofing. <gasps> Ow! That witch Ow. is rather handsome. We're meant to do that. <clears throat> I also meant to quickly meditate. It's going to turn out I'm late to the ball, because <laughs> I was waiting an hour. I agree completely, young man. Lois is clearly more decent than Lola. Isn't that the truth? I noticed it myself. But Clay? Now that's a real pickle to clean off. What? Oh, it's the swordsman. Good to see you. Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up. Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech, and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shanked while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. How's business, kid? How's business? I gave you all that money. Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. It's the Grey Fox. Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots, 
Others had no boots at all? Oh, I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Remember what they looked like? Of course. I have a mind like a steel trap, as I said. They were ragged, unshaved. Their clothes were tattered. As to their boots, well, I mentioned that already. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that boot shine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. You must visit the shelter. Look around inside. Tough times. <laughs> the fuck? Saying tough times. Tough times. Drink up while you're young. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? This is a decent district. We need no filth or fuck about. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Stram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballard. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn nuisance. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention, mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yeah. yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. Again, covered in armor from head to toe. With two freaking swords. Why am I fist fighting them? If they want to fight me, Geralt, they should just Lost fucking nerve. get their asses killed. <laughs> they pick a fight with a dude with swords when they have fists. They should get what's coming to them. All I'd have to do is I pull out my so sword and scare the shit out I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Girl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Can we afford to wait? Thanks. We'll wait. How nice long are we waiting? It's supposed to be like a formal function. I suppose it is fashionable to be late, right?
My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeal? We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got one too. I gave it to the boot black. And Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. Eh, hey, I'd rather know, yeah. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over, or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightening. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. This man helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. Who is it, sister? This time you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. No, I could have told you that. <laughs> Judging by this, Detloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain tease and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions. Ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask her yourself. Hmm. Not sure why she'd come out and say it, but sure. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her. But I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment. Much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her.
coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Hmm. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So, said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind, but I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this? Atop all that? No, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. Yeah, figured. Alright, uh, let's go back up to the palace, adorn my classy ass clothing, and uh, explain why we're horribly, horribly late. <laughs> Here we are. There should be guards at the state pass, right? I'm assuming I can just use my witness sense to. Get him to stand beside. Ooh, first of all, I can loot everything there. <laughs> it's gonna come to the the ball, and they're gonna be like, "There's no food. Someone's raided the pantries." To see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Want to talk to her. It's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. Not one locked up on the Duquesa's orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation. Urgently. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission. But only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. I was going to say, I'm kind of hired in, you know, into the entire case of it. And I was the one who found her and rescued her. With air quotes. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Hey, Siana. Sorry to intrude, but I gotta ask you something. I've nothing to say to you. You're the one who put me in here. Have you forgotten? Sure, but you are here. So what's the harm in talking? Got something better to do? What do you want? Be brief. This cell. Downright cozy. Second time you've been incarcerated in altogether pleasant conditions. Always seem to land on your feet. I wouldn't say that. I get no privacy here. But it is clean, because I cleaned it. They do say cleaning can be relaxing. It isn't. It's a horrible, thankless task. But I'm not one to leave anything undone. For instance, before I left Nazer, I also tidied my room. Even made my bed. I knew I'd never return, but I despise leaving unfinished business, messes, loose ends. Dogged determination. Guess that's admirable. I was praised for it as a little girl. Only for that, in fact. Went to a place where Beauclair's beggars congregate. Found proof that you'd planned your sister's demise. Anna Henrietta. She was Dedloff's ultimate target from the start. Your target. Bravo, Witcher. I congratulate you on your deductive reasoning skills. But what I'd planned has nothing to do with you. Wrong. Has everything to do with me. You were hired to kill the beast. Said beast is dead. So go collect your metal and leave me alone. Why must you meddle in everything? Yeah, he wouldn't have gone around murdering everyone if she didn't fuck with him. 
Still. Just like to know what's going on around me. Can't stand confusion, unexplained situations. Have you come to ask me what drives me? What my motives are? Actually came hoping to learn something. It's clear you are out for vengeance. Against those who drove you from the palace? Curse of the Black Sun. That was their reason, right? It's certainly what they claimed. They said I was dangerous. A mutant. Knights, Crespi, Dulac, Delacroix, and Peyrac Peyron. They got the task of whisking me away, abandoning me outside the Duchy's borders. They were following orders. So they were, though they did so eagerly. Especially when I tried to flee. Crespi beat me unconscious with a whip. The others stood by and watched. Peyron found ample opportunity to take his frustrations out on me. While Dulac and Delacroix insulted me, mocked me. I swore then I would never forget. I would find them. Find them all. Fair enough. Mm. Explains a bit. A lot. You had a right to feel rage. Resentment. But those motives aren't enough to justify the means you chose. I didn't expect you to understand. I need no sympathy. Not from you. Not from anyone. I regret nothing. If I could turn back time, I'd not decide otherwise at any juncture. They all deserve to be punished. My sister most of all. Enough. Your visit's done. Ah, oh, thank the stars. All right, well, I spoke to her for as well. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Want to see him too. Witcher, where the hell have you been? Damien. Geralt, it's about time. Ready for the ceremony. Your face doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Arnica. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. Hmm, yeah, I think it's something to tell the uh, the Duchess and nobody else really. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. I keep my sword, though. Apparently not. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. 
of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. <clears throat> we bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. And the line was In poisoned. more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? All right, uh, this hardly seems like this hardly seems like the place for this, but <laughs> I am and truly grateful, your grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Deadloff. You were to be the beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. For not like I have proof. I do not believe it. I confronted her and she admitted it herself. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now, I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. We're meeting her here? Okay, I'd have done it in a bit more crowded The Witcher hall, will take part in our talk. She asked me to be here. <laughs> Free to do as I choose. Yeah, right. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlaf. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me, as one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. <laughs> Alright, this is where I spend half an hour trying to think of overthinking the shit out of these two options. Your Grace, as Head of State, you should look first and foremost after your dominion. Siana's actions, what drove them, be damned. She's a threat to your subjects. 
You are correct. They are what matters. I must not forget this. Sianna, you shall be tried and given a fitting punishment. Yet we shall never cease to be family. As Duchess, I shall have to judge you. But as your sister, I shall never stop loving you. Will you forgive me? See, in time, I think they could... In time, I think they could talk it out and she'd learn that it's not her sister's fault. She's just blaming the only member of the family that's there to blame. I shall never Shit. forgive God, you. Shit! God! God! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I fucking told you so. I... Garrett's like, I told you so! I told you this would happen! <laughs> I tried to warn you, but no! God damn it. Can't say them all.